Devin, and I will be taking over ITA's Instagram today to showcase a day in my life here, um, taking the in-person TEFL course in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So yeah, I have been in Chiang Mai officially for one month. Um, I arrived four weeks ago, right before the start of my course, and um, the course is an intense four week long process. Um, the partner school, ITA's partner school here in Chiang Mai, um, has a really good setup. For the first two weeks of the course, you are a student yourself in the classroom, learning the methodology and actually learning grammar. Um, because as native English speakers, we don't really think about the way that we speak. So those first two weeks are really to get us thinking about the way that we speak and to learn um, some methodology. I'll just go to the grad now. Hey guys! Morning. Morning. Hey. Morning Hi. meet up um, in our lobby. Yes, and I'm just ordering a grab to go to school. <laughs> All right, guys, on the way to our last OTP. How are we feeling? Good? <laughs> Excited? Oh, oh. <laughs> In the song now. Jordan. It's <laughs> <laughs> too early. All right, we just finished our last OTP. We're back in the teacher room right now. How do we feel? We just yeah, finished. Good. Yeah, very good. We're good. We're done. Okay, Woo. This one. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, we are officially done with Yay! our course. Now that we are finished, could you tell me what was your favorite thing about the course? Um, well, what I really enjoyed was the friendships that I've made here um, during the course. Um, in the beginning, I was a bit afraid. Um, I wasn't sure if I would make so many friends. And I was also very afraid to stand in front of the class. Um, but like I've overcome all that, like, it was absolutely so great and the setup of the course was so good like we had theory and practice and I actually feel very confident standing in front of a class now and I'm actually just really excited to start working. <laughs> Yay. Okay um, back at my apartment now we actually um, finished at school early today since it was our last OTP we didn't have to stick around and lesson plan or anything, so we were able to leave early. Um, so I'm back at my hotel, and I figured I would um, show you guys my hotel room. So I am staying at the Prince Hotel. Um, I actually found this place through ITA's partner school. When I gave my deposit in, um, the school gave a list of hotel recommendations that are um, both close by and a bit farther out from the school. Um, we didn't have to stay in any of those. They were just suggestions that they um, that they offer for uh, students. And so I saw the Prince Hotel. I looked it up online, and I, I liked it. So I decided to stay here, in the hopes that uh, maybe a few of my classmates would be staying here too, and it would just make it more fun and easier. And that did happen. Um, there are, I think, five of us staying here from the course. So. Uh, we call ourselves the Prince Crew, <laughs> but yeah, it was um, it was good. It was a good choice. I'm glad that um, the school provides those suggestions. Okay, so this is my hotel room at the Prince Hotel. I have two beds, but I only sleep in that one. Um, it's really clean right now because here at the hotel, 
Um, it, the rooms are cleaned twice a week, every Monday and Thursday. And they also bring in extra um, new towels, toilet paper, and uh, drinking water as well. So it looks really clean today. So there's are the beds. I have a little desk area that's a bit messy. A wardrobe to keep your clothes. Bathroom. I actually have a shower and a tub. Sink. Then you come back through here and you go this way and there's like a little sitting area with um, an electric kettle which has been great for tea and coffee. And finally, the best part of my room, the part that I love the most, is my balcony. And just as a little follow-up to um, the expenses breakdown page, when you do come for um, an in-person course, the majority of your time is going to be spent in class. Like I said, every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., you are in, in school. Um, you get a 10-minute coffee break in the morning, an hour lunch break, and a 10-minute coffee break in the afternoon. So that doesn't leave much time to do um, any other exploring or fun activity. So expenses are pretty minimal during the course. Um, if you can manage your time well, you can um, have some free time maybe during the first two weekends to get out and go on some uh, adventures like we did. But once weeks three and four start, um, you'll just be, you know, lesson planning. But the intensity of it pays off because you really do come out feeling so prepared. So tomorrow is our last official day of the course. We will go in and we will receive our certifications. They will help us craft our resumes and give us um, a little lesson about um, job search guidance in, in Thailand and what to expect for that. And then after that, you're done. So my plan now that I am done my course is to find a job. Um, I do plan on teaching in um, a Thai school here in Chiang Mai, so I will be searching for an apartment, um, job hunting to schools, and I also do plan to teach online as well just to supplement my income and make a little extra money to travel around while I'm here. Even though she had more things. So she just pointed out the main ones that she wanted to <laughs> So I am back home now in my hotel room, getting ready to go to bed. Uh, like I said, I have my last class tomorrow, so I want to be uh, fresh and ready for that. Um, thank you all for tuning into my story. I hope that. It showed you all um, a good look into what a day in your life could be like if you take an in-person TEFL course um, anywhere around the world where ITA offers it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.